I think this could really be it when it comes to the Church of Scientology. I'm not unrealistic. I don't think they're going to shut down tomorrow or next week or maybe not even next year. But I think that there are some developments in this saga of Scientology versus the rest of the world that make it different from any other time. And the first element is monetization. Now, Scientology likes to characterize this as the only reason that we are protesting is to make money. And that's definitely not the deal. I haven't made hardly anything yet. Um, and I have whatever, a hundred and something thousand views. Um, monetization is not some straight shot to riches, but it does give a little positive feedback loop to the protesters who also have YouTube or TikTok channels. And that wasn't happening before, or if it was, it wasn't that big of a factor. Way back in the days of Anonymous, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Another reason why I think this could be the beginning of the end for Scientology is that there aren't many people left anyway. Um, if Scientology lost as many members through the efforts of the current wave of protesters as they did during the anonymous days, then there would probably be a negative number of Scientologists on Earth. I'm saying Scientology probably lost more members since Anonymous than the amount of members that they have left. Probably a lot more than that. Nobody knows for sure except the Scientologists who are actually meticulously keeping records. But there just aren't enough Scientologists to man their organizations. Like, for example, Austin is opening because they kind of have to, or else they would be a total laughing stock. But they don't have the staff that is required to run that org. <clears throat> they simply don't have the people. And so there, there will be a temporary thing where they fly people in from different areas and, and have them work there for a while until that doesn't work anymore and they all leave because they're not making any money because they're getting no support from Scientology. Because Scientology is like the mafia. You kick up. Money goes in one direction, to the top. They don't like it when the money has to go the other direction. And that's my third reason, that money is going to have to start flowing downwards. And as money flows downwards, and I'm sure it already is, and what I mean by that is instead of David Miscavige doing a big cash grab and getting all the cash, he's going to have to subsidize failing orgs in order not to have them have to close and lose all of their staff. And if you've ever taken a cash advance 
to pay your minimum payment on your credit card, then you know the kind of situation David Miscavige is in. Because if he starts taking this money given to him by the whales, and he starts giving that money to these failing orgs just so they don't completely fail. Because according to L. Ron Hubbard, orgs are never allowed to shut down. And so if orgs start shutting down, and they might as well be shut down now for the amount of activity going on in most of them, well, then what, what happens is that the larger organization, Scientology International and all of its umbrella corporations, they are going to have to keep these orgs afloat all over the world where they're not getting any new members and they're not going to. And they're just hemorrhaging cash. And as they hemorrhage cash, and if David Miscavige decides to subsidize them, then it's going to be more and more apparent to the ultra-rich Scientology donors, the whales, that their money is going to just keep organizations afloat in name only, organizations that are not achieving anything. And so it's not going to look good. It's not going to feel like a good investment. And on paper, it's not going to be any kind of investment. It's a donation, but it's a donation throwing it into a hole, a bottomless pit, that's never going to fill up. And, and then circling back to the protesters, my first point being monetization, but circling back, a precedent has been set now that protesters are shutting down recruitment. And I realize Scientology is not 100% dependent on recruitment to keep things going because they do have a lot of cash that they can keep things afloat. But eventually, you don't recruit people, and it's pretty impossible if you look at all the orgs now. If you look at how one person with a camera just walking up and shooting a little footage shuts down the whole operation, well, combine that power to shut down the org with the potential of being paid to do it. And there are hundreds, if not thousands of people around the world lining up to protest Scientology on their YouTube or TikTok accounts and to get paid for it. And so, therefore, it's going to be more and more close to absolutely impossible for Scientology to recruit any new people. Add to that bad publicity, the publicity around all the protests, the fact that people are being made aware of Scientology on a daily basis, People are going to tourist destinations like Hollywood Boulevard, getting educated on Scientology, perhaps as a tourist, having the only conversation 
these people might have with a local that's not trying to sell them something is when they had a conversation with a protester on Hollywood Boulevard explaining the evils of Scientology. When you go on a trip and you have one interesting conversation with a local, and otherwise you're just going around sightseeing, taking pictures, whatever, the most memorable part of your trip could be that conversation with that protester. And that means that that story is going home with them. Oh yeah, I was, I was in Hollywood, and we were going down Hollywood Boulevard, then there was this protest, and then I asked, hey, what's going on here? And I had this conversation with this person that told me all about Scientology. Oh wow, I didn't know that. It was so interesting, and this, and that, and this, and that, and, you know, the dedication, and whatnot. And, oh yeah, the creepiness of Scientology, you gotta see it. Hey, let's go to a, the local one around here, and see what's up there. Okay. So, these things are spreading. They're spreading online, but they're also spreading by word of mouth among people who watch things online, but also people who see these things happening right on the street. I talked to a friend yesterday who lives around La Poubelle restaurant, where a lot of protests have been taking place recently, where I was two days ago. The restaurant that was Danny Masterson's favorite restaurant, and the restaurant whose owner supported Danny Masterson even after he was convicted of his crimes. And so anyway, my friend who lives right around the corner from La Poubelle, I was talking to him, and he was saying, oh yeah, my neighbors are all talking about the protests at La Poubelle. And so, of course the neighbors are talking about it. It's the biggest, noisiest thing happening in the neighborhood. Cops being called, fire trucks showing up, multiple times a night. Okay. That's going to get attention from people, obviously. And so, these things are piling up. Now, in the days of Anonymous, we were in an e earlier period of the internet. I'm sure some people made money off of YouTube. I don't know how the monetization worked. I don't know the whole deal. But it wasn't really a factor that was talked about very much. It wasn't a motivating factor that got people out there. The motivating factor for most of those people was either ideological in terms of internet freedom, the anonymous contingent, and that was the contingent of people who were not ex-Scientologists. And then the other contingent was people who had left Scientology. Well, now we're seeing a whole group of people that also were never in Scientology that are actively protesting it. And these people are getting paid to protest. And so, and Scientology has no moves. Their moves are ridiculous, and their moves oftentimes are illegal. And their moves make them look bad pretty much every time. And so, my conclusion to this is that there is a high degree of probability that this is going to be the end of Scientology. It's not, like I say, it's not going to happen right away. And there might be some organization called Scientology five years from now. But my guess is it's not going to have a lot of new members 
it's not going to have a lot of organizations because they're not even going to have enough people to staff the organizations that they have. They will shut down most of their orgs. They will have to sell off property in order to fund themselves at a certain point. And they will keep taking out cash advances to make their minimum payments, by way of speaking. They will cannibalize themselves, just like when they open up a new org and they have to get people from all these other orgs to come in temporarily to make the new org look viable. And then within a few months, everybody goes home because nobody's making any money. Nobody can survive on starvation wages. And they pack it in. So yeah, this is not a big hype like, oh, Scientology shutting down tomorrow and you know, news alert and all that clickbaity crap. It's not about that, but it's about, you know, there have been different waves of protests. There have been different eruptions throughout the history of, of Scientology originating from different areas. But I think this is the beginning of the end. I don't think that protesters are going away. I don't think the sneaky tactics of Scientology to get everybody blacklisted in whatever way, orders of protection, whatever, I don't think it's going to work. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. And so... They're going to try a bunch more stuff. They're going to probably get a lot more evil. But that's just going to speed up the karmic feedback loop on their ass. That's all that's going to do. It's just going to speed it up. The more evil they get, the more they attack, the more they do all of this stuff. They're going to reach certain tipping points. They're going to reach a financial tipping point. They're going to reach a tipping point when it comes to the police and politicians. They're going to reach a tipping point when it comes to the professionals like dentists and chiropractors whose businesses they seek to take over and talking about cannibalizing things. Um, so there, there are various tipping points like when the cops no longer show up in full force every time Scientology whines about their lack of comfort. They're not going to send five cop cars anymore. They're going to send two guys that are going to show up like, you know, when they feel like it. And they're going to kind of take their report. And give them a little attitude like, are you sure you really needed to call this in? And, and then there will be a moment where Scientology, um, you know, fakes something. They will fake something and they will probably get caught doing it. Which will destroy them. They will fake some kind of attack. They always do. Just look at history. Because if you want to make the argument that history repeats itself in politics or certain other areas, it doesn't repeat itself nearly as much as it does in the realm of Scientology. When it comes to Scientology, history really repeats itself. Because Scientology is unable to adapt they just keep coming out with the same playbook. What are your crimes? All this crap. You know, they can't really update it very much because L. Ron Hubbard's dead and apparently nobody else is capable of coming up with the crap that he did. And nobody can uh, change it. 
Not that David Miscavige hasn't done so a little bit. He has. But the thing is, they have no future. Yeah, they might hang on and name only, and they might cling on to a certain core group, and 10 years from now, they might exist as something in a couple of locations, hunkering down um, with the ride-or-die Scientologists. But they're not going to be a factor in politics, in society, in the entertainment world, and any of that stuff. They're done. They are done. And now we just get to watch the cookie crumble into dust because that is the future of Scientology. At least that's my prediction. Let me know what you think in the comments.